Another great way you can move your database from a server to another server is through the detach and attach method. And this is ideal if you want to move your database from one drive to another. So let's take a look at how we can detach a database and attach it back to the instance. So in this case, we're going to use AdventureWorks. So right click the database, select task, and then select detach. If there are active connections to the database, you won't be able to detach it from the instance. So what you'll do in this case is select drop connections and then select OK. If you look carefully, the database is no longer on the instance. Now we can copy both the data file and the transaction log file to another server and then attach it to that instance. However, in this case I'm just going to move it to a new directory. So I'm going to move it to the Aiden directory. Now if I go back to my instance, select attach database, all I need to do now is browse for my file which is in the Aiden directory select the file then select OK. So if you look carefully you'll see that it's trying to locate the transaction log file within the current directory. However it's not there so I'd have to change the directory where the transaction log file is located and then select it. Then select OK. Then my database will be reattached to the instance successfully. So this is another method that you can use to copy a database to another server. So you'd use this method also if your instance has crashed and you have access to the database files. You can just simply grab your database files and copy them to the other instance. That's in a case where you can't, you're not able to take a backup and restore. In the next lecture, we're going to be taking a look at the option to generate a backpack file and import it to a target server. This method is ideal when you're moving from on-premise to your Azure environment.